MNOVA binding. In this video, I will show you briefly how to use MNOVA binding to analyse a series of protein ligand binding titration spectra interactively. Here in folder number 2 is the NHHSQC spectrum of protein only. The rest of the folders contain HSQC spectra with ligand gradually added to the protein. In this text file, we have the protein concentration at each point and the concentration of the ligand in micromolar corresponding to each of these spectra. In this text file, we have the seven peaks that we want to follow the chemical shift changes, measure the chemical shift perturbation, CSP, and fit the dissociation constant, KD, for each of them. Eventually, we will calculate the average KD. Let's start MNOVA. From the data browser panel, we can see the nine spectra and drag all these folders into MNOVA to get the HSQC spectra automatically processed and displayed as shown in the pages view. I can highlight them all, click on the stack ribbon and select Superimpose Items to superimpose the spectra on a new page. Zoom in to the fingerprint region, double click the display and properties window. On the stacked tab we can change the palette colour to hue colour so that the contours from different spectra are coloured in different ways. Now back to the MNOVA menu. Choose Tools ribbon and click on the MNOVA binding tool to display the chemical shift perturbation panel. In the tab general I click on New Analysis to use the nine spectra of this titration series to be analysed. In the protein concentration column, I will enter 500 micromolar for all of them. In the ligand concentration column, I will enter the ligand concentrations one by one. Now I go to the tab Peaks to import the peaks using the Import Peak List option and open the Peak List text file I showed you earlier. MNOVA binding will track the chemical shift changes of all of them and list the details such as FIT KD and other parameters for each of them. If you double click on any of the rows we can see an expansion of the selected peak and see the chemical shift changes from the protein only spectrum to the last point of the titration series. You can see in the chemical shift perturbation panel the concentration of the ligand versus the protein concentration in the first column, chemical changes on each dimension, the normalised chemical shift perturbation values and the calculated values shown in the curve. Above this we can see the annotation or label of each peak, computed KD and the error of fitting. Then you can click to see the details for other peaks and so on. Zooming out, we can go back to the fingerprint region. We may want to add more peaks to measure their KDs. For this, we can manually pick those peaks. Zoom in, and if for instance we're interested in this red peak, select the peak picking tool and click on the actual peak. MNOVA will follow the peak changes and add the peak and its results to the chemical shift perturbation table. If I'm interested in another peak, for instance in a crowded area where automatic peak tracking is quite difficult, then we can do manual correction to adjust the automatic peak tracking results. From the peaks tab, 
we can use the peak picking tool to select a particular peak. This peak is giving a tracking result that doesn't look right. You can see that something is wrong from the fitting results too. Manually correct the peak tracking results just by dragging this first point to the right place. In a similar fashion, we can correct the next points one by one. As you can see, the points on the curve on the right hand side fit much better now. From the Peaks tab we can see all the peaks that are currently used to compute an average KD and error. Those values can be seen at the bottom of the panel. If we want to report these results we can use this tool and copy and paste them into a spreadsheet. We can also exclude some of the peaks by unchecking some of the checkboxes and the results at the bottom will be automatically updated. We can also use the tool on the bottom right corner to copy the current average results and paste them to the spreadsheet. If we are interested in the details of a particular peak, we can switch to this peak tab and use the tool copy report and again paste it on the spreadsheet. If we are interested in a report of the whole series in terms of the chemical shift concentration values then we can go back to the general tab and click on the copy tool and paste the results. We hope this demo has given you an idea on how to interactively process a protein ligand titration series to follow the peak changes, compute chemical shift perturbations and KD for each peak and eventually get the average KD. From the chemical shift perturbation panel we can also click on the affinimeter button to upload the binding isotherms from these 2D NMR titrations directly into affinimeter NMR module in order to measure the binding constant. Right after data import the table of titrant and titrate concentrations is displayed. In this table it is possible to edit the concentration values and even include the presence of a third species that participate in the interaction. One of the advanced tools of Affinimeter is the possibility to perform a global analysis of binding curves for a more robust analysis where a single value of the binding constant is obtained. Moreover, Affinimeter provides advanced binding models that can be used to analyse complex interactions, for instance, competitive model, a one to one binding auto association. Finally, the information obtained after the analysis can be easily downloaded from resources.